Hi everyone, my name's Richard and I'm the founder and CEO of Coverite. And today I want to talk to you about retirement. America is going through one of the biggest demographic shifts in its history. 11,000 people are retiring every single day and by 2035, there will be more people over the age of 65 than under the age of 18. But retirees today face a unique set of challenges. They're the first generation on 401ks versus pensions and unfortunately, 53% of them are expected to run out of their life savings and having to rely on Social Security. The average American retiring today lacks access to the tools to help them navigate retirement. So at Coverite, our mission is very simple. We want to build the most seamless navigation layer to bridge the $125 trillion of assets held by boomers and Gen X and the $7.5 trillion of health and financial services markets looking to service them. And we're starting with the first and most important question that we've heard from our customers. How should they manage their health and their health costs? That's why we've built the world's first TurboTax for Medicare experience. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Medicare is a mandatory health insurance transition that all Americans have to go through as soon as they turn 65 or when they retire. On average, there are about 100 private options to choose from. So at CoverEye, what we've done is build a proprietary platform that delivers an all-in-one service. We centralize the critical tools such as doctor search, drug search, and instant and accurate quotes, and we pair that with access to expert human support, delivering a holistic service that saves them hours of research and confusion. Our experience is leaps and bounds above what exists today, which include deceptive practices and bait and switch tactics that are used on older adults and things like spam calls. And most importantly, we're eliminating complexity through an easy to use interface, which focuses our users on the key decisions they have to make while our platform does the complex trade-offs. What we're most excited about is the, the ability to extend this relationship. With the data collected through Medicare, we can append up to 10,000 other data points to create the most complete health and financial profile available, allowing us to recommend this customer other products and services. And that's why our business model is so attractive. Our customer acquisition is low, we only pay it once, and we have the opportunity to create multiple recurring revenue streams from this customer over the lifetime of that relationship. The platform is free to consumers, and we've written over 1,300 policies and expect to grow 400% this year. We distribute through trusted partners in local communities such as credit unions, and we're soon to announce a partnership with a national pharmacy and grocer that will give us access to over 30 million households across the country. Our whole team has deep experience scaling consumer fintech and digital health platforms, having exited four companies combined, including brand names such as SoFi, Incredible.com. And in terms of why Buffalo, at Coverite, while we were founded in an era of remote work, we truly believe of the power of in-person. And for a long time, we've been looking for the right location to create talent density of sales, operations, and marketing and product functions. We were fortunate enough to speak to the CEO of ACV Auctions earlier this week, who's exactly done that here in Buffalo. We're excited about potential partners like Highmark and Independent Health, as well as the 50,000 students who we can hire from. And we're proudly New York-based. We were founded in Brooklyn, and we'd love nothing more than to be the next unicorn here in New York State, right here from Buffalo. Thank you. Okay, let's kick us off. Okay. Sure. Looking at. I love partnerships. So, can you tell me a little bit more about your partnerships with GoodRx and Mark Cuban's uh, company? Yeah. Do give sending clients to you, or how does that work? Yeah, so that's really a data partnership where over time we hope to res uh, send referrals over to them. So we collect data on our customers, we know exactly mm. the drugs that they take. Through our platform, I know exactly how much that costs in their plans. And so we can run scenarios to understand like, if there are savings to be made through those partnerships, in which case we can refer them over to those partners over time, allowing us to generate revenue off that in addition to what we generate from the Medicare piece. Jeff, please, then we'll come to you, Paul. Hey, this seems like an amazing opportunity, and someone's going to be, I think, the big winner here. Who is it going to be? I, I assume that's the easy part of the question, and why? Yeah, I think, obviously, we believe it's going to be us. Um, Medicare, Medicare is a mandatory decision, and uh, unfortunately, a lot of older adults are lumped together in the same sort of group. Uh, what we see is that the, the type of older adult aging in today is digitally savvy and they're looking for a different experience. So a lot of the reasons why we're in partnerships and we're winning uh, channel partners is because we're delivering a different experience for those customers and those partners care about those customers, allowing us to build a bit of a distribution mode. Over time, if we accelerate quickly, we're able to build data 
which allows us to create network effects. We can get better recommendations for our customers, which drive improved stickiness on our platform, and therefore other service partners that come to our platform as well. Paul. Well, it's pretty clear this is a huge market, and the market timing is now. Everyone that's gone through this knows the difficulty of being able to choose. It's confusing. Just at the time when the cognition for people over the age of 60 is in decline, so it's a very difficult thing. Um, so it makes sense to me. What do you, can you tell us a little bit about, um, since you're, I would look at you as an execution play, how do you, uh, what, what is it that you do to ensure that you get to market share as fast as possible? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is hopefully some of the funding that we'll get through here. I mean, we know we have, we have a model that works. We have a conversion of funnel that works. And so what we really need to do now is really accelerate that and prove out our go-to-market. We've already started some of these partnerships. And uh, if you ask our, our partnerships person, I'm sure he'd love a team to help us go pursue those even further. And we really need to, to get those now uh, as a first mover to really accelerate our growth. Candice, you got a question? Come back yeah, kind of to build on that. Oh, sorry. Please go first. Okay, thanks. Um, just building on that, can you talk more about how you plan to scale, and are you doing it by geography, especially when you're thinking about some of these channel partners? Yeah, good question. Yeah, it's a bit of both. So, for example, our, our grocery pharmacy partner, that's national. Uh, now, if we can go to one of those partners, that's really helpful because they have a trusted voice, obviously, because they're a big company. We also have localized partnerships. So we work with local insurance agencies, so people who sell home and auto who don't do Medicare. And they're most likely you know, get, gonna get asked the question when their clients turn 65. And so we wanna be there in those local settings as well. And so the flexibility of our platform is that, is that it's scalable and it costs those partners nothing to implement. Candice, please go ahead. Yeah, so you wanna be a unicorn. That's everybody, right? Every startup wants to be a unicorn, but how many customers do you actually need yeah. to make that happen? Yeah. So on average, on Medicare, we receive about $300 in recurring commission at each customer. So if you do kind of the math, we need about 300,000 customers cumulatively, so not in one year, because we can sort of build up to that number. And so that would get us to $100 million of cash revenue each year, which would allow us hopefully to... to How many people are turning 65 every year? Uh, there are about three to four million each year, so 40 million over the next decade. There you go. Got time for one more quick question. Who wants to get it? Do you worry about trust from your customers when you're thinking about how your business is based on commissions? Yeah, uh, there's a, that's definitely a consideration. And so the important thing about our platform is there's no pay, play to pay, play. And they can't be because we show our customers all the options. So they know if we're not recommending the right option. Uh, and so that's really important. Uh, the trust element is super important. And you know sometimes the reason why we do some of these partnerships is we're able to leverage some of the trust factor from those partners who have vetted us. Uh, in order to sort of put us in front of their customers. We're going to have to end it there. Great job. Thank you.